Cracking by kscience.com Oil refineries are responsible for separating the different length hydrocarbons found in crude oil into their different fractions, depending on whatever boiling point they have. Once separated, we know there is a surplus of fuel oil and bitumen. Therefore, oil refineries have too many long chain hydrocarbons compared to the demand. If something isn't done with those unused hydrocarbons, they will just go to waste and the oil industry would never allow that. To help meet the demands of the shorter chain hydrocarbons, we use a process called cracking. This is where a longer chain hydrocarbon is broken into two shorter chain hydrocarbons. We use the word to crack, which just means to break the covalent bonds between the atoms. So cracking is where the covalent bonds in a long chain hydrocarbon are broken, producing a shorter chain alkane and a shorter chain alkene. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Cracking is a very important chemical reaction because it helps meet the demands of society. Unfortunately, crude oil does not provide us with enough petrol or kerosene or natural gas. Therefore, to help meet these demands, we crack the longer chain hydrocarbons such as fuel oil, which is in surplus, and then we use those shorter chain alkanes to meet the demands of petrol, kerosene and natural gas. For example, decane, which has a formula of C10H22, can be cracked into octane and ethene. The chemical formula of octane is C8H18 and ethene is C2H4. The displayed formula of decane is C10H22 and it's really important to notice that if there are 10 carbon atoms on the left, your products must add up to 10 carbon atoms as well. Octane has 8 carbon atoms and ethene has 2 carbon atoms. Decane has 22 hydrogen atoms, whereas octane has 18 hydrogen atoms and ethene has 4. This adds up to 22 as well. Therefore, you can see how cracking follows the law of conservation of mass. Whatever elements and atoms you have on the left, you must have on the right as well, just like any chemical reaction. Ethene contains a double bond because it's an alkene and all alkenes have double bonds, whereas octane is an alkane, so it has just single bonds. Double bonds are found in alkenes, whereas single bonds are found in alkanes. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. An alkene can be identified by the carbon-carbon double bond, whereas an alkane can be identified by the carbon-carbon single bond. Because of this double bond, we say alkenes are unsaturated, whereas because of the single bonds, we say alkanes are saturated. A very important rule to remember about cracking is that an alkene is always produced, along with an alkane. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.